All right, guys, it's Friday. We're waving our Trump flags. Uh, we need some people to come out here and uh, wave a Trump flag. He took a bullet for y'all. You know what I mean? What you doing? Saxon Boulevard Enterprise Road out here in Orange City every Friday, 3 till 6. Get your lazy butts out here. Gentlemen, someone tried to uh, assassinate Trump. What happened there? Complete failure. Was it just uh, the DEI guys screwed it up? No, they or... were just part of a screw up. But uh, the system, the media has pushed these people that are not right in the head anyway. Mm -hmm. To the point where they're ready to shoot at a president, mm -hmm. an ex-president, whatever, a candidate. They don't know how close they were to civil war mm -hmm. the other night. Yeah. So, hey, do you think, uh, think they did that on purpose? Of course they did it on purpose. The, 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 uh, the, did, the guy that did finally take the shot yeah. committed committed a career suicide by doing that because now he's been indicted and fired because he took the shot yeah. to kill the guy instead of just letting them tell him the what The Secret Service probably said, hey man, uh, we won't shoot you if you do this for us, <laughs> right? I look at it like the Secret Service tried to take him out. That's what it looked like. Well, they didn't, you know, they, they shot him in the head to make sure he could never say anything about the reasons he did yeah. what he did. Well, anybody could have made that. You could have made that shot. Oh, no, easy. Yeah. I don't even go to the range that much, and I could have made that so shot. This kid was a notoriously bad shot. When uh, two years ago in high school, he was trying to be on the sharpshooter team or whatever at school, and they wouldn't. Yeah. They said he was a dangerously bad shot, so they wouldn't even let him on the team. Yeah. And he's the guy that that took the shot. How does he get in there? How did he get in there? How does he get in there? The cops this, knew about him for an hour. This Rick. was the most incompetent setup I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. and the they roof, totally screwed it up. Mm -hmm. The roof the roof had such a slope on there, you know, you wouldn't want to put any people up no. there. Even though they, they were on the barn, they had more of a slope to it. Yeah. Yeah, Makes that doesn't make any sense. sense at all. No, so because there was a slope on the roof, we, we put the uh, snipers in the building <laughs> instead of on the building. That was the closest building to, to Trump, just about. Well, and we come to find out allegedly the parents who called the cops worried about this. So people knew he's out there on the roof. I'm hearing 30 minutes before there, the people were telling. I heard an hour before they saw him walking around and he was uh, hey, a suspicious person. Just, yeah. How could you, how could you put Trump on that yeah. stage when you know there was a threat walking around? Yeah. Well, I and, can't hear you from that far away. And allegedly they were in the building that the sniper was on? Mm -hmm. The cops were in the building? Yeah. On the second well, floor. you never know. They might have to snipe somebody trying to get into the building, oh, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, it was on purpose, I, I think. I love the smoke. Well, there are plenty of people that are ready to protect, you know, but uh, the government doesn't like militias that are ready to protect and, and help the people of this country. Hey, how do you guys like the Secret Service women? How do you like the DEI Secret Service? Huh? Uh, at this point, it's a freaking joke. You skipped over people, ex-military, you know, men that, that uh, have trained for this all their lives, mm -hmm. for a woman who is hiding behind the cur behind the uh, the yeah. other guys protecting the president, can't holster her weapon. Yeah. Uh, ridiculous. I wouldn't ridiculous. let those bitches guard my Twinkies. He's been shot. He's down. Why do you stand that man up for nine seconds? Because nobody tells Trump what to do. He wanted to do the fist pump. And they couldn't find anybody that's taller than Trump. Everybody there was shorter than Trump. How are you going to protect the guy when you're not even tall? Yeah. All I saw was three women getting in the way the whole time. That's what I saw. Yep. Pathetic. And that, that uh, Secret Service chick, Cheadle, the woman in charge, she won't get fired. Yep. Biden don't fire nobody. Maybe because she did what she was supposed to do. Yeah, well, that's it. Did what she was supposed to do. You know, as soon as that debate happened, now they take a shot at him. Because yep. Biden lost so badly. Yep. Well, maybe you tell your Secret Service lead. Yeah. Don't get in the way. Right. Things may happen. Don't get in the way. Yeah. I'm gonna. I want to bring something up. Mark brought up earlier. Uh, I've been to Trump rallies where he's got these big ass, buffed out army or Navy SEAL looking dudes guarding him. Th those are his private security. 
Bikes. He doesn't use them anymore. He needs to hire him back. Viking, I believe Viking security is the name of it. Go back to work for Trump, boys. Yeah. Anybody that's been over to, uh, to a Trump rally uh, like a couple years ago will know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know those boys. Go yeah, get back to work. Yeah. Protect our president. Yeah. Secret Service ain't doing it. There's a video from the backside of Trump. You can see Trump getting shot. And you watch the Secret Service or whatever they are, they hit the deck, except for one guy. One guy took off up the stage to yeah. jump on Trump. Yeah. So I can't say that everybody's in on it. And I'll tell you something, if you want to screw things up, if you want to make it look like a conspiracy, that's not the way to do it. Because there was so many screw ups. Yeah. Trump needs to get behind bulletproof glass, keep doing your rallies, yes. but do it right. He has to be behind You cannot be out in the open, dude. Don't, don't, you just can't. Look. Never again, dude. This is only the beginning. Yeah. They feel empowered now to take a shot. We've all seen the Facebook post. These people are mad that they missed him. Yep. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Our country is going straight to hell. And all the lefties are complaining the guy missed. Yeah. That's well, sick. The, the only thing that concerns me is now Trump has everything that every other president that's been assassinated has in truth. He wants to stop the war. And when you tell the people they can't conduct war when they want to, that's how you get killed. A lot yeah. of money in war. Yeah. A lot of money. Yep. Well, wow. that's the deep state makes all their they make a lot of trillions money of, of dollars that. from that. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And they know Trump going in ain't going to start any new wars. That's a problem for them. Yeah. Well. Hey! Hey! hey. Whoa! Your, hold on, dude. What here's happened? Your, here, here's your thumbnail, dude. Hang All on. Right. Get yeah. the line. Get the line. Yeah! Fight! 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 <laughs> All right, man. What happened? What happened? They didn't get him, but what happened? Well, they got him in the <laughs> ear. Well, everybody knows it was a security failure, right? Was it just DEI, uh, or was it deeper than that? Oh, it's way deeper than that, dude. Is my ear, uh, my bandage hanging on? It's fine. Um, one thing I just noticed this morning. <coughs> they're saying they don't know what happened to the ladder. I just watched this morning a video of one of the first helicopters on the scene that showed the dead body, the rifle, the backpack, nobody on the roof. You could clearly make out a ladder in yeah. the alco alcove next to the front door. Well, there was a short ladder, which what they're saying is he brought this six foot ladder. And then there's like another like 14 foot ladder. But, so I don't know what, which ladder they're talking about. But one thing that I do know is that they've lied to us. Um, they've said... Well, the FBI's there to cover everything up. Exactly. And so we're never going to know the truth, never. right? But um, I think they're, what they're definitely covering up is the fact that this ladder was there. They're saying they don't know what happened to the kid's ladder. So they're saying that a cop was hoisted up to see him on the roof and he swiveled the rifle to point it at him. That is impossible unless he climbed up the same ladder that the shooter went up. I heard he was sitting on top of some cop's shoulders oh. or standing well, on some cop's shoulders. The law enforcement reported what? that a cop hoisted another cop up. up. Yeah, That's impossible. If you look at the roofs involved, it's impossible. It's it too high. To so good to somebody that's, that doesn't see the building. It's too high for that? It's too high for that. He accessed, there, there was a lower, uh, like a connector between two large buildings. It had a lower roof. That's the one that the ladder went up to. And from that roof, it was a short shimmy to get onto the other roof. Do you trust the FBI looking Not into this? All. Not at all. Dude, dude, who does? Do you think, like I think, they're just there to uh, destroy evidence? Yes, yes. I mean, because what being what this is, they're going to be asking everybody for their what they have. Just like they did for January. And be 6th. careful if you're an eyewitness, you might get Epstein. It's you know. Have you seen the evidence for the second shooter? I've seen footage. You can see like a like a smoke coming from behind a curtain where somebody shot a gun. I haven't seen that. I've There's heard a water that, tower theory I've now. That, I've heard that uh, an auditory expert yeah. is questioning things, but just myself, just from watching it over and over again, the shots. You know, you're trying to track the shot sequence. And what's amazing here is, if this was any other mass shooting, they'd be detailing where the first oh, shot yeah. went, the second oh, shot, the third shot. We'd know everything shot. about the shooter. You know, if this, it was a school shooter, right? This this Corey man in, in Pennsylvania, he took a he took at least one round for the president. Yeah, he took I saw another. I saw another um, the, the, from behind the curtain where it shows smoke coming out like a gun, and then you see you see somebody in the crowd just keel over. A second, so. a second. Man, shooter. hold on, the FBI. They're not straight with us. 
Right. No one's telling us what's going on, and it's going to lead to all kinds of theories. And we're never going to know the truth, so, you know, theories prevail, I guess. All, all of you home sleuths, get on it. We cannot trust our government to tell us what's going on. We cannot trust them. Mm -mm. I mean, they're already covering up a ladder. Have you heard anybody talk about a vehicle? I mean, I've heard... Yeah. Well, he had, a, he had a receiver on him. And he had supposedly, according to the FBI, he had a bomb in his car, but because he got shot, he didn't have time to hit the button. Dude, I've been paying attention. What kind of car? What color was it? What type of vehicle? Where did he park? None of these details have come out, well, really? Well, it's because the FBI hasn't, hasn't finished making all this shit up yet. Yeah, hasn't, <laughs> hasn't finished. Yeah, yeah, stuff. it's terrible. Same way, well, they didn't rescue them. Ralph! They tried to get Trump. What happened? What's your theory? Because no one's telling us anything, so I what's know, your theory? I know, it's, it seems like they tried to take out Trump. It's obvious. The, the Secret Service? Yep. The, uh, the deep state? Biden campaign? Yep. The Democrats? Right. Obama? All, all of them? All of it. All the above? CIA? You name it? The yep. Department of Justice? Yep. And yeah. They, they, was their, and they had a shot, and, and they missed. Well, but, the patsy that they used was, no, was a notoriously bad shot. Yeah. But I mean, I saw like an animation of somebody put an animation together. Yeah. And it, and it just, he was centered yeah. on Trump's head. Yeah. And But Trump turned right at the last second. And that... Luckily. You know, luckily. It's like the God of hand. You think this changed Trump? I, I noticed something about him different. He's a little calmer or something, He right? looks like he's... Uh, seen uh a ghost <laughs> yeah yeah definitely <laughs> think we'll ever get to the bottom of this fiasco probably not right away probably never probably never they will never tell us exactly what happened yeah but there's no one's going to be held accountable and they won't tell us anything but there's new shit coming out every day so it's hard to keep up with it yeah you know but well yeah. they almost got him you think they'll quit now or they're going to keep trying to get him they will never stop. They will never stop. Even after he's done being president, they'll never stop, man. That guy's going to be dodging bullets yeah. until the end. All right. Yeah, I know. It's a sad state of affairs. Yeah. yeah. Bottleneck, what happened? Real poll. What? They almost got Trump. What happened? They missed. Who missed? The conspiracy guy. Do you think a one twenty year old nerd could outsmart all of the Secret Service? No, and not if finding encrypted uh, accounts overseas. Who the hell paid him? And number one... He had accounts overseas? Yeah. He's oh, 20 years old, but he's a member of a shooting club and all that, and he planted the weapon there. How come the sweep didn't get that weapon? Well, they they're gonna, for weapons. They're going to try to tell us that Iran was in on it. No. He was an Iranian spy. And if they find out, what are they going to do? Nothing. No. If it was Trump, look out, here come the missiles. But... They're not going to do nothing. But it is, he know where he is. They want him out. He's not going, which is good. So we'll get everything. We'll get the Senate, the Congress. And then when Trump gets in there, everything he wants to get done will get done. You no think we'll Democrat. ever get to the bottom of what happened? And oh, yeah. You oh, think yeah. we will? Oh, yeah. When you get the right investigators in there. You think uh, Trump uh, needs to hire his own uh, security yes. team? Yes. He's already got an event. The Republican Party's got their own investigation. The Secret Service and the FBI, they're the ones that framed him with the documents. Well, bullshit. they're getting investigated by a private firm hired by the Congress. Yeah. And we're talking about executive action and stuff. The big Loser! Sorry. Triggered one? Giving the finger. We're giving the finger? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my theory. I think anytime there's a Trump event, a Trump rally, there's gaping holes in security. As long as the Democrats and the media keeps comparing Trump to Hitler and he's a threat to democracy, and as long as they keep leaving gaping holes in security, eventually someone will slip in to one of those gaping holes and do what they want, which is assassinate Trump. That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. All right, I'm gonna go around. Please bite you. I'm gonna go around and talk to everybody here. Uh, Trump getting shot, uh, got his ear shot off. And uh, what happened? And what happened? Yeah. He tried to assassinate him. Who did? The kid? Did a 20 year old nerd outsmart the Secret Service? The FBI. No, I think they let him. 
They let him do it? Yeah. That's your theory? That's my theory, yeah. I mean, Trump needs, needs to be careful. They're he not going to stop carried a Trump. rifle all the way across the field, went, climbed up a ladder on top of the roof, and, the, and they're claiming that, oh, the slope, Cheadle says, oh, the slope was too dangerous for her <laughs> Secret Service people, but yet the slope, the slope roof that her people were on was the same. But we've seen cows walk on steeper slopes than the, <laughs> right. seen that video? And the guy right. was right. Mm. Mm. Getting the blood off of it with, uh, with the hose, he was yeah. squirting Oh, he was off. getting rid of all the evidence yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so sure, what, what do you sure. think happened, Marie? I, I think um, it's a little bit deeper than what everybody's thinking. It's not there just is. a dumb there's, kid? No. No. Yeah, there's there's too much going on. There's, what do you think the about this? The lady behind him that was filming, they said that she worked for the FBI. She was assistant something or other. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. What lady was this? She was right behind Trump. Uh, oh. They, sh they showed Looking a couple suspicious. videos. Yeah, she, she yeah. sat down. She, was... she looked to the right, kind of oh. got a smirk on her face, and then she started filming when Trump went down. She was well, Almost she like she look, knew something? Yeah. She what about the second excited. shooter theory? Have you heard that one already? Yeah, yet? actually, three, three. three. Three people, three shooters? Yeah, they power. are forensics on the sound of the shots that took place. They counted 11 shots. Mm. The kid shot three. He only shot three? He only shot three, and the uh, Secret Service shooter only shot one. One shot, one kill, which is good for him. Yeah. But Yeah, so they're saying they're different sounds. All right, what do you yeah. think? What do you think about the? Uh, oh, can I talk to you? Oh, what do you think about the uh, snipers uh, having that dude in their sights for like ten minutes or three to ten minutes? It's a scam. They waited for him to fire, then they shot. They at waited him. for him to fire three shots. After all the people standing around yeah. saying that there's a shooter on the roof over there, there's a shooter on the roof. Yeah. The cops even knew about it and did not do anything about it. Tell me the cops aren't in connection with this with yeah. the uh, Secret Service. Yeah. All the uh, all the Trump supporters on the ground saw this kid before the police. Sixty minutes before. Yeah, yeah. sixty minutes before. Well, when he went, when he had his gun and he was crawling across the roof, there's all this footage of all these Trump supporters going, "Hey, he's got a gun! Hey, he's got a gun!" And it went on for at least two minutes. So, and nobody said anything. No. Yeah. Look at that! Yeah. Look at that! All right, Shade, what do you think happened? It was a planned assassination. By George Soros? All planned. Obama? And it failed. Yeah. Because he had a guardian angel watching over him the whole time. Yeah. Divine right. intervention? Yeah, absolutely. So you think it wasn't just one dumb kid? Nope. Nope, they, they planned to assassinate him. The water tower, man. Yeah. yeah. The, the water tower? The water there was somebody tower. on the water tower? That yeah. kid probably shot the people in the audience. Oh. It was probably a diversion. But the yeah. sniper was really in the water tower. Yep. So whoever's on the water tower got away? Of course. Sure. Just like They any, needed a patsy that they could uh, yeah. that they could kill with one Shoot shot. Yeah, yeah, and blame like, it all on him while yeah. the real snipers were way off in the distance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, then, I mean, no real sniper would, would like lay on the roof of a white... Has anybody yeah. seen the yeah. footage of... The uh, the smoke, gunshot smoke coming from behind a curtain that at the rail. Ricochet off the railing. Oh, it was they're a ricochet saying, off shot, the railing. They're saying that shot came from the water. Oh, tower. did that ricochet and hit the guy that fell down? I think it hit the guy that fell down and then hit the. Oh wow! Okay. It was something high powered. At minimum, it would have had to have been a. a that would that makes that makes six. sense. Okay, because I saw that and people were saying it was a gunshot, but ricochet off the yeah, railing. It, it hit the railing. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. We'll never know. No. Yeah. No, we'll never know. They'll okay, so us. what happened, you think? This, this is the CIA, FBI thing, just like Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any idea who did it yet, Inside but, it job. but it wasn't that kid. Well, if the FBI has anything to say about it, we'll never know what happened. We, we never will. It, it's just yeah. like Lee Harvey Oswald, same thing. Yeah. What you're being told now is a lie. Yeah. That that kid did not do it. That's one thing for sure. Yeah. Now, who did it, you'll never know. The only problem is... Back then, there was the Zabruder film, and maybe just another person filming. There's hardly any footage of it. Here at the Trump rally, there was probably 
at least 5,000 people or more filming at that moment. Like, like she was saying, the lady right behind him that was taking the video was not scared at all. There's more people. There's lots and lots of things we don't know. You think there's more footage out there we haven't seen yet that could shine Absolutely. the light on some stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you think that if somebody has some damning evidence against the FBI, they're going to wind up Epstein before they could show anybody? Of course. Of course. Of course. That's how they do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's 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 a lot more to it. Nothing you know right now is true. Yeah. That that kid didn't do it. And then you got people telling that lie. Well, 120 yards or whatever is an easy <laughs> shot. Bull crap. Yeah. Some it's people not, are saying that the person killed on the rip, the sniper, it's not even the guy that they're telling you it is. It's some other guy <laughs> with little tattoo thing on his neck. I don't know. I think the more. The more stuff they throw in there that confuses us, the better off they it's are. It's just like the lie about his uh, parents calling in after yeah. the shot. Yeah. Their counselors, they were trying to CYA is what they were trying to do. Because yeah. they knew where it was going to go back to, to them. Yeah. Yeah. But, Who are those guys? You know, those are the know. abortion people over there. They're nuts. Yeah. Brenda. Yes. What happened? What do you think happened? The CIA tried to take out here, Trump and not, they failed. And the Secret women's Service? Protecting yeah. Women's yeah. Health yeah. Cool What's up, man? Welcome. How you doing? Welcome. Yeah, so that's it? You sticking to that story? That's what I believe. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact, because I've watched that over and over, if he wouldn't have turned his head the minute, the second he did, he would have been dead. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just a geek, nerd, dweeb. 20 year old that outsmarted the uh, secret service no it yeah. was planned yeah. they why wouldn't they have secret service up on that roof? it was too slopey <laughs> it was too slopey but it wasn't it, too slopey it, for the no the other guy the other guy wash away evidence though yeah it's perfect to wash they were up there in 10 yeah. minutes washing away all the yeah. dna evidence and the evidence. they didn't want you to know that maybe it wasn't that that actual guy nothing you know so far is the truth yeah who knows what pretty creepy like not what we're, we're a week into it later and there's a million theories because they're not telling us shit so in reality and they never will as far as jfk you still don't know anything about what happened really to kennedy no you got analysis you got thoughts they got tapes and everything well we know the narrative ain't true yeah, yeah. Well, I believe the CIA took out Kennedy, too, because he was about to show the people the corruption in the government. And right after that, he was assassinated. Just like his grandson that supposedly flew upside down for 20, 30 mm. minutes. Yeah, Trump just needs to be careful because they're not done trying to get him. Okay. This is your dog? Yeah. What's your dog's name? Echo. Echo? <laughs> oh, he, she? He's, he's cute. cute. Yeah, he's yeah. cute. So you like Trump, huh? Yeah. Trump gonna win? I want him to win. You want him to win? Yeah. Good. They uh they tried to shoot Trump, but they they got him in the ear. Yeah, for real. That's it. Yeah, Trump is tough. Yeah, he's a tough man. Yeah. I heard one time. What was it? Hulk Hogan went on stage. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he just went on stage yesterday. Yeah. Ripped his shirt off and had a Trump. Like, Trump. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, I saw yeah, that. Did you like that? I watched it with the former wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smell yeah. Even, that was awesome. Wonder Man was here too. Mm-hmm. Which well, is uh, more resident entertainment. Yeah. Uh, I just say fight, fight, fight. <laughs> that's what Trump said. Fight, fight, fight. So that's what we're gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God bless you. So you guys, you guys are uh, halfway from here to Daytona, and you came up to wave some flags with us. Appreciate it. God bless y'all. Okay, so the other thing I heard was normally they use drones to try to spot assassins and stuff like that. They didn't have any of that at the Trump rally, and they didn't have any bomb sniffing dogs. No dogs. Uh, having a dog that can sniff out a weapon is crucial if you're guarding a uh, presidential candidate or a, and former president they had none of that so it was definitely on purpose this wasn't just some dumb 20 year old kid outsmarting the secret service there's going to be a lot more to the story guys so 
All we know is the narrative they're feeding us is all bullshit. All right, follow me on X, Rumble, and ScrewTube. And we're at, uh, we're in Orange City, Saxon Boulevard, Enterprise Road. We're waving flags out here every Friday, three till six. Come on out, do it. In 2019, Joe Biden announced that he was going to run for president for the third time in his political career. From this point on, it became painfully obvious to anyone with eyes and ears that his mental and physical capabilities were in a steep decline. A crack team of handlers was assembled to guide him through his daily tasks. If you have a president who looks dazed and confused, and if you can afford them, maybe you can hire the Dementia Team.